Gotta go, Specs coming. Get up. <laughs> There we go. That felt good. <laughs> now I'm going. Like Come trip. on, please, just don't fall before I pull the trigger. Just don't. <laughs> Both of those, honest to God, they went clunk, clunk. Ah, there's one. <laughs> I, was, I was counting the ammo on my head. Thing. They gotta be out by now. <laughs> when, you're, when you're the late guy, you get thrown off, right? And it's yep. like, ah, then you gotta find another target. And... That was beautiful, though. Good call, Daryl. Good job on that one. You'll hear me say, look at your toes. Yeah. Yep. Always look at your toes, right? Because those are the targets we're trying to kill. So many times we'll call it and there'll be birds like right there and guys will shoot at the 55, 60 yard birds and they're like 14 yards right there. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, wow. 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, we're going to get it done here. I hear honks. Or is that that pair? Oh, straight out, straight out. To the right. <laughs> Get up! Keep going, keep going. Ah. Good job on shooting those left ones. Did you get them on the left there? Yeah, you got nice. both. <laughs> nice. I was trying yeah. to time it so they were... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so these per guys perfect. could shoot and those guys could shoot. Perfect. Two honkers right behind us. <laughs> fifth one went down. So what you're saying is you didn't hit him in the head. <laughs> Not that one. I didn't say I hit him. <laughs> Mine are right here in front of the deep shot one in the mouth. They're dead right there in the head. <laughs> one thing we do to kind of ensure our success, especially the hunters, is we will rarely go on goose only hunts in the morning. And like if anything's gonna go sideways, it's typically gonna be a goose hunt. So, you know, if you go out with a bunch of guys and you come back with six geese and it can happen, happens to anybody, you know, it's not great. But if you go out and shoot six geese and you backed it up with 40 ducks for the five guys, you've got an absolutely fantastic day for the guys. They're happy. You go out in the afternoon, we shoot a bunch of birds and, you know, or you shoot 10 or 12 or 15 or finish off a limit, which is great. First time to Alberta, what do you think? It's unreal. Yeah, yeah. we're in a... over here. Nice. Falling right on us. Yeah, it's right good. Nice Look at job. that. Yeah, we're clubbing them this morning. Man. Welcome to Alberta, boys. What's shaking, Daryl? Well, just picking up a few uh, specs there. We just had a nice bunch come in. They got dropped four out of the five. Should have uh, hit all four in the head, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, good morning. Lots of ducks, almost too many ducks at times. They're just uh, getting underneath some of the specs, and the specs are busting up because of it, but uh, it's cool to watch. Uh, we've got almost all our geese now, so we're just gonna stick it out here. Hopefully a few Canada's come in, get a few Canada's for the guys here, but uh, yeah, it's been a good morning. Well, it's, it's really nice that we don't have to worry about that five bird spec limit now. Like it's it's a game changer, yeah, it just you know? opens it right up. Canada's. Geese by the tower. All right. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look Canada's. at that. Beautiful part up spec. Nice. Dive bomb. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so this morning we um, we're hunting over a bunch of dive bombs, and we're hunting out of the Renegade Series layout blinds. And the situation we had yesterday was we had had a bunch of ducks puddling, and they've been feeding here for quite a while. And then 
there's a few Canada's here earlier in the week. And I mean, I didn't call on it. We had enough hunts and then a bunch of specs showed up and there's kind of two independent hunts over here in the 640 acre piece. And what ended up happening was um, the co a combine had to go through and had to weasel its way through because the header was too big. And it actually kicked up the other pod and uh, and they all ended up here. So this ended up being just a double sized combo. Gotta go, bird's coming. Woohoo! Right side. Get him on the left side. They're going. Oh man. Nice shot. Is that you? I wanted to call it earlier and then that oh, one, because the one started cutting and I was Perfect. like, ah, oh, they're going to hook and then. Unreal shot. I didn't even shoot at it. Ah, I'm not going to hit him. He's too far. Stones him. <laughs> Heavy hammer, baby. Yeah, you're on fire with that shot this morning. If it's going away at 65, it's going down. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's great shooting. Man. Just remember all your videos. 70 yards, you can shoot him. You can shoot him. You can kill him. Like, it, it's just proof, and you know what? You're absolutely stoning them. You know what I mean, Rich? Yeah. Like, I mean, you're whacking them. You have that shot dialed in, man. How high above them are you going? Like, just the barrel above the yeah. or above? How much gap are you putting? About like that. That much on, on top of their back? Yeah. So you're letting the shot fall into them? Yeah. That's unreal. I saw a video of a skeet shooter, like, taking those long shots. Uh-huh. And he was doing that. He goes, you got to actually shoot above them. That's an unreal shot, man. You crushing them out there today. Plus, you know, you get that that bismuth that has the energy to do the deed. Over the exactly. pond, over the pond, on the right. 42. <laughs> get them. <laughs> Did you see that one? I was like this. Nice. <laughs> I went like this. Oh you got that one like that, girl. Yeah. <sighs> okay, now I gotta count. Right now, we're at uh, 48 ducks, 46 dark geese, uh, lots of specs, a bunch of Canada's in there too, and uh, we're just we got we got two that we want to recover. And uh, I'll tell you what, we have definitely converted another group of hunters to heavy hammer. I watched uh, Richie make how many of those shots? Oh, yeah. 75 yards going away. And he's just aiming a, like a couple inches above their back and sinking those pellets and just stoning them. Like they're laying out there dead. It's unreal. Birds that you shouldn't know? be dropping. Yeah, birds that shouldn't be dropping, stone dead. And we're just looking at him going, oh my God. Yeah, he's a good shooter. and. And then, uh, you know, the dive bombs, they did it again, man. Yeah. They're beautiful decoys. And you know what's really nice about them, too, is how quick we can set up. So fast. So fast. Tear down. Tear and, they, down. and it's not really about that with us. It's no. more about the quality of the hunt. The quality of the hunt and the decoys that, that actually yeah. work, you know. So, real happy with them. And away we go. Let's find them. Dude, good boy. Drop. Good boy. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Hey, we don't do that very often, guys. That was amazing this morning. Absolutely fantastic hunt. We were covered up in ducks. The specs were being specked. We shot, you know, we had to shoot them to get them. Uh, the Canada's did it. The ducks were unbelievable. We had a puddle right behind us there. The ducks were, were smashing it pretty hard. And of course, the geese fed up on the hill. And option one would have been to hunt the water we'd have shot a bunch of ducks. There's no way we'd have shot more than five or six geese. We've done that a hundred times, right? The geese wanted to be up on this hill. In fact, even a little bit further to my left there, you could tell they just favored that side a little bit. So we kind of split the difference. You get too far away from the water, those ducks will start puddling first thing in the morning. And then of course, when they do that, they stack up, first little flight comes in, let's say there's four or 500 ducks in the pond. Boom, you scare those, they're gone. And, and it just compounds the problem. Whereas you know, we've never had more than one or two flights hit the water. Then of course, you know, the spinners are, are getting their attention. Any birds that are hungry come in, you know, the three or four flights that are on the water, they get scared up, no big deal. And then once the lights came on and you know, they got hungry, it was, they didn't even look at the pond. It was pretty, pretty classic field duck hunt. Beautiful country, lots of potholes, 
lots of rolling terrain. Uh, it makes the goose hunting a little tougher because you never know where they're going to roost. We check our roosts. We make sure there's no geese, you know, hopefully going to bed close or too close to where you're set up to hunt because, you know, those big Canada's, the specs, you can get away with it, but those big Canada's, they hear that shooting and they just, they'll just, we've seen it a hundred times. They just slide out the back and you won't get them, right? These boys can shoot and they're fast half the time. I mean, I'm coming out of the gate and I'm just half a second behind them. I'm, I shot a video last year and we called it fast guns and I mean this guy this guy walking up behind me here is like rocket speed and you're you're what 51 yeah and then to make it worse he brings his kid who's like 10 times faster on my left I was surrounded by speedsters anyways great hunt that's a wrap it was a pleasure to hunt with you guys first let me say thanks for letting me crash your party and uh you know 48 48 that's unreal Unreal, unreal hunt. You guys shot so well today. I saw shots that, and, and when Daryl and I were walking back to the, the, the spotting car, he just said, there was geese falling that shouldn't have fallen today. And we saw, we saw you, Richard, make some shots today that were unreal, you know, and he's he just getting up above them, letting that shot fall into them, and the energy and the bismuth just, and they weren't just sailing away, like they were going down dead. Awesome Awesome. Hunt. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Great, awesome. Hunt. Yeah. Great hunt. A great, great three days of hunting. Daryl, thanks a lot, man. You did a great job and yeah, yeah, you know, thank you. put us on the button. Everything has to be perfect to go 48 48. I think we owe a big hand to Deke. Yeah. yeah. And Deke, yeah. Yeah, Deke did a great job. He did. He's going to need some of those supplements today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The you duck both. show was a phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, that was right. unbelievable yeah. after we were done. I mean, and just watching them come in was just. Yeah. yeah I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Even better than last year. I remember your hunt last year. Remember I said to you that. You know, you don't come to Canada to right. kill them two or three at a time. We just didn't yeah. get the big flights, and, and that's what we wanted you to see. Yeah, right? it, like that's what you come to Canada for, is just to get that. No, we just come for you now. I yeah. know. I know. <laughs> Good job out there, Forrest Daryl. Thanks. Cool. It's a wrap.